Hey guys, and welcome back to the third and final part of our Queensland trip. After driving to a spot just northeast of St George, we escaped the heat by swimming as we waited for dusk. The first thing on the move after dusk was this tessellated gecko. Not long after that, we found this melanistic yellow nape snake. At first we thought it was a Dunmore snake, but later inspection of scale count proved otherwise. This chunky mulga snake was found next. After seeing one the night before, we were delighted to see another one. These are lapids aren't as toxic as browns or taipans, although what they lack in toxicity, they make up for in their venom yield. As we watched the mulga disappear into the long grass, little did we know what we would find next. As you can obviously hear in my voice, we were in absolute shock seeing one of the rarest snakes in the region, the Woma python. These pythons are one of two species in the Aspidites family and are renowned reptile specialists. Commonly kept in captivity, these snakes are super tricky to target in the wild. Conditions were a new moon and the road was 32 degrees. This snake measured at approximately 1.7 meters long.
Whilst the Woma Python was being photographed, we also managed to find one of these Brigolo scaly foots, the sole member of its genus. As we drove back to camp, we managed to come across a male golden-tailed gecko, easily one of the prettiest lizards in all of Australia. Before we went to sleep, we had a quick walk around our camp. We did find this robust velvet gecko on this tree trunk. The next morning, we drove the dirt roads hoping for a shingleback lizard, but to no avail. However, we did come across this lace monitor with no tail. We didn't do much herping after that as it got very hot. Decided to wait until night time. This curl snake crossed our path first. A bite from one this size can be medically significant. Although very common, we had never come across a Burton's this red before. The variety in these lizards is crazy. Yet another Davies banded. These snakes showed up nearly at every spot. Not long after that, we come across this adult female golden tail. 
The females of this species grow larger than the males. The next day we travelled east to Lake Broadwater. This spot is usually really good for pale head snakes. We cooked dinner and walked around after dark to look for them. That night we didn't come across any pale heads, although we did find this beanie beanie foraging for blind snakes. For the next couple of nights, we stayed at a friend's place just west of Brisbane. We ended up herping one of these nights and come across a few of these coastal carpet pythons. We also found this pretty eastern small eyed snake. This one had a nice pink underbelly. These brown tree snakes were also very common. It was cool to see the snakes still on the move, even though it was pouring rain.
these loud buggers were calling all over the place. After Brisbane, I decided to visit family on the Gold Coast. On the last day, I found this bearded dragon basking at the beach. On the way home, coming through the north coast, we decided to stretch our legs for 10 minutes to find one of these guys, Australia's largest skink, the land mullet. And that wraps up our trip to Queensland. We either couldn't or forgot to film some species on this list, but all up we come across 51 species of just reptile. What an awesome trip. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more herping trips.